like to go through this and end up on the other end and still have life after surgery. And Eve Ball, an artist who I met out in Las Vegas, yes. who's fantastic, who's going to talk to us about what it's like for her. Thank you. Um, first, I'd just like to thank everybody who made this event possible. Um, the entire Setting Scoliosis Straight squad, you guys deserve an award. Um, thank you for letting us all come together today. And um, I'd also like to thank Nicholas Children's Hospital and all the amazing people who administer care to scoliosis patients each day within these walls. Um, I'd also like to extend a special thank you first to Dr. Schuffelbarger, who quite literally took my spine into his gifted hands and shaped me into the person I am today. Um, I'm forever indebted to you, doctor. And I'd also like to thank Dr. Ashgar, who was instrumental to my uh, post-operative care, and to my parents, who make it all happen. Um, they were there for me during the more demanding phase of my recovery, and uh, you guys are above and beyond. My name is Eve Mole, and I'm 19 years old. I just completed my first year at Vanderbilt University, and I'm a scoliosis patient. And so I'm here to share my story with you um, in the hopes that no matter what phase of treatment you're in, um, there's a take home message for you. So I was diagnosed with scoliosis in seventh grade, um, in part due to a standard school screening. Uh, I was handed a slip of paper recommending me to go see a specialist, but frankly, I threw that paper away. I was the picture of perfect health. I didn't think that I had this. Um, <laughs> it wasn't until I went to go get a blouse tailored and the seamstress noticed that one strap was looser than the other that um, I actually went to go see a specialist. And an x-ray revealed that I was not the picture of perfect health that I thought I once was. Um, I presented with a 38 and 26 degree balanced S-shape curve, classic adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. Um, and nothing can really prepare you for that first time you see your own x-ray. Scoliosis moves slowly and silently, but the diagnosis can hit like a ton of bricks. So if you're newly diagnosed and you're feeling this way, it's okay. Um, but I wanted to be proactive. I wanted to do something to combat my scoliosis, but frankly, I was afraid of the surgery. So I got uh, myself a pink Providence brace that I wore every night for like a year. And I've said this before, just because it was pink doesn't mean that it was cute. Um, uh, my curve did not stop progressing. Um, I sailed through the gray zone in like a year. Um, each x-ray more disappointing than the last. I'm sure some of you can relate. Um, once the curve progressed past 50 degrees with some pretty significant rotation, I got put on the schedule for surgery with Dr. Schuffelbarger. Um, I was a rising high school freshman at this point, just dying for something to make this time more tumultuous than it was already supposed to be. Um, and I was absolutely terrified, frankly, of the pain, of the uh, complications associated with the surgery, and of the major changes to my body. Um, but my parents, who were both physicians, assured me that I could trust Dr. Schuffelbarger, the entire team at Nicholas Children's Hospital, and all the research invested in my treatment. Um, I remember being wheeled into the OR, and I don't remember much else, which is a testament to how great the anesthesiology team was. Um, <laughs> um, when I came to, I was not in that much pain, but I was in great hands. Um, my bed shifted me every few minutes. I had respiratory therapy, physical therapy coming to me. I had excellent bedside care. Uh, my meds and my meals came like clockwork. Um, it was fantastic. Um, and when I went home, my recovery was only just beginning. Um, that year was sprinkled with tiny milestones from brushing my own hair to tying my own shoes to returning to dance class. Um, but during that time, of my recovery, I learned to embrace the things that I couldn't, or I learned not to focus on what I couldn't do, but to embrace the things that I could do. I um, started debating. I joined my school's debate squad. I started painting a whole lot more. Um, that's me. <laughs> these are some of my um, these are some of my paintings. Um, I became a champion debater. My um, so my service project, Art by Eve, in which I create and donate to, um, artwork for various charitable ca causes, snowballed during this time. Um, and uh, getting to follow these other passions was a, an, a, an unexpected and happy byproduct of this seemingly daunting treatment option. Um, but I eventually did return to dance and um, sprang back completely normal. In retrospect, I really didn't have to fear so much. 
Everything turned out so wonderfully. I even have a very cool scar to show for it. Um, there are scores of brilliant doctors, researchers, and engineers who have dedicated their lives to advancing scoliosis treatment. They're fighting to better our prognosis, and they are winning. We are the living proof. Thank you.